guys, it's Reggie here with 10 Minute Tech Reviews, where we give you all your tech reviews, <clears throat> excuse me, in 10 minutes or less. So this is the phone, the Essential PH1, or the Essential phone. I've had this phone for about three months, never did an unboxing, never did a review, but I think it's time. Let's give you the nerd specs real quick. The phone's made with ceramic. It's got a ceramic back, titanium body, Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front. The display is Quad HD. It's 25 by 60, or I'm sorry, 2560 by 1312 Quad HD. It's got a 13 megapixel dual RGB mono camera. It's got a 13 megapixel true monochrome. Uh, it shoots monochrome mode on the back. 8 megapixel on the front. Films at 4K 30 frames per second. 1080p at 60 frames per second. 3,040 milliamp hour battery. 4 gigs of RAM. 128 gigs of storage. Currently running on Android 7.1.1. USB Type-C, IP54, which means don't get it wet. It can stand up to a little bit of dust. All right, all that out of the way, let's talk about the phone. When this phone first was released, the price was ridiculous. People didn't want to get it. Now, I myself, although was interested in the phone, I didn't get it when it first was released. I literally got the phone when the price went down. I mean, way down. I think this phone up, $300. Got a steal on it, had to get it. At that time, it's had several updates for the camera. If anybody didn't know when it first came out, the camera was atrocious. Update after update after update after update after update. And then finally, you have a camera that's really decent. The phone itself, again, I just think the way that this phone was made, it is beautiful. There's nothing like it. I love the fingerprint reader on the back. It is very fast. Very responsive. The display is great to me. I think it's good. I think the phone itself is really zippy. Now, I haven't had any issues with the phone as far as any lagginess, any, any you know, it never has frozen up on me. Pull all the way down. It hasn't frozen. I don't have any notifications, so it only pulls down that far. But it hasn't locked up. It's been a great phone. It really does work as expected. Um, I do have the camera mod that goes on the back. I have yet to use it yet. It goes right here. And of course, this is for the other mods that Essential is supposedly going to be creating. But apparently, um, they're going to stick with this if you're interested in Essential, but comparing this to um, your Pixel phone, it, it's night and day because of the camera. The Pixel camera is just head and shoulders above the rest, but this phone's camera, it's good for the average user. If somebody just wanted the basic Android package, this phone gives it all to you. And especially at the price for me, yeah, you get four gigs of RAM. I know most people are going with six, but four gigs in the way that this phone um, <clears throat> is actually set up. These four gigs of RAM, I, I play some games on it. These are the games that I have loaded. If you can't see, I played all these and they play great on this phone. Uh, frame rates uh, have been perfectly fine to me playing all of these. Uh, no really drop frame rates that I, that I could see. Um, but it but it holds up and it holds up great. And like I said, this phone's wonderful. So saying that, I know everybody's interested in the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some camera footage right now that I took out at the beach where we're at, so you guys can actually see what the camera looks like on the essential phone. So let's check out the camera footage right now.
All right, guys, so you saw the camera footage. And again, in a nutshell, after having this phone as for the time that I have, I can definitely say, my opinion, this is a great phone. Again, if you have to buy it at the price range of, I don't know, $700, I think that's way too much. Now the new colors that they've released, I think because of the colors, they've upped the price. You can buy it on Essentials website. The black and the white are available for $4.99. It's $5.99 for the new colors that I've seen right now, especially the ocean blue is $5.99. So it looks like those, they've increased the price for the colors. Why, I don't know. To me, you keep it at the same price and just add the colors and you're still bringing people along with you. But again, if you want that basic Android package, this is a phone that actually gives it to you. I think it does. Um, video wise, this may not do it justice, but real quick, I will let you see a video. Let's load up one of my videos here so you can actually see exactly what it looks like. Load up my recent video that I did just a second ago. Turn the volume down a bit. Now it's got a single speaker. It's not that great, but it's got that single fine speaker at the bottom. But it's playing loud enough. But it's got that 16.9 uh, aspect ratio. I, I think the video. I think the, the that it actually looks really good in my opinion. I mean, it's not a slouch. And you actually get a decent package for this and the pure Android experience, which is what I really like. Okay, pause that. So again, saying that, this is a great phone. Only other thing, fingerprint magnet, of course, they don't have a lot of accessories for it, but they seem to be popping up a little bit more now. In the beginning, they weren't, but if you look on Amazon, you can get some cases and things like that for it. Um, I rock with a 2 d case right now. It's the Glost. It actually gives a look of that back and it works pretty good so me I protect my phone in all ways and it does have a tempered glass which I also may admit was hard to come by but I found one that works and it shows good on the phone no hazing no anything like that so if you're interested in that I'll leave a link to that in the description too if you're interested in the phone but again it's a great phone they're always on display to me works great, let you see whatever you have on there, but it does of course come up when the phone's been laid idle for a while and lets you know what notifications you have. So in under 10 minutes, the basic specs, what do I think of this phone? Like I always say, there's a phone for everyone and this phone may be a phone for you. They've updated the camera, it has a premium feel to it, a premium design, a little notch on the front doesn't bother me at all. Pure Android. It will get updated to Android uh, 8. It will get Android 8 or Oreo. That is already in its uh, beta testing phase. A lot of people have it on their phones. I haven't loaded it, but it will get updated to Oreo here soon. It's slow, but it's still going to get there. So I think as they're working through the kinks here, uh, with this phone because it was designed by one of the creators of Android. I think once they get through the loops of this, this next go around may be a little bit better for them and the updates may come a little bit quicker. However, you'll see eight point, you'll see Oreo on this phone before I see it on my Note 8. So it is what it is. But overall for the package and the price of $4.99, I can recommend this phone. If you want a pure Android experience, I do recommend this phone for you. Again, it's not a Pixel. The cameras, in my opinion, set that phone apart. The dual speakers are on the, on the Pixel. So, few things do set it apart. It's not a Pixel, but it does come with a little bit of a cheaper Pixel price, although you can kind of get a Pixel for about half the price right now, in that price range of about 400, maybe 500. So they're still great phones, but this is a good option if you want an alternative too. So again, the Pixel phone, <clears throat> good phone, essential phone, 
pretty good one also. As I always say in any of my videos, I want to give a thanks to my family for supporting me. Couldn't do this without them. Always give a shout out to all the YouTubers that I follow. Make sure you check out their sites. They have some great content. Technically T, Sean Be Nice, The Tech Couple, Tech Valor, TK at Total Tech, Jay Williams, and I can't forget Eric at Easy Computer Solutions. You guys can remember to follow me, of course. Instagram, Facebook, Google Plus, all under the tag of 10 Minute Tech. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If it's your first time to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified anytime I post new content. And make sure you share this out too. So I'm gonna take you guys out of here with a little bit of more extra footage that I got with the phone, some pictures. The phone's not that bad. And it's a good one, my opinion. This is Reggie with 10 Minute Tech Reviews. See you guys in the next video.